Hello everyone, welcome back to the rec room. Um, in the last episode we completed the last stage and collected all the dragons. Because that's the only thing that I'm actually going to try to do. So I can show off each level as much as possible. Um, now we are about to enter the boss. Inside the dragon's mouth. Um, you can tell it's a boss level because it's just like one word. And uh, that's the name of uh, the boss. So this boss's name is Toasty. Must be like some sort of fire related guy, right? Especially with the, the red sky. I love the backgrounds of uh, of this game. Like just looking off into the distance. It, it just looks so fucking pretty. I mean, it looks like a painting because, you know, textures. It just looks really fucking nice. I like, that's a fucking beautiful sunset. I don't know about you. Even though if the sun were that big, we'd be more than toasty. Oh, shit. These fucking greyhounds or whatever are goddamn terrifying. Like, you just walk past and then... Ah! And they're an enemy that take two hits. So you just gotta be careful. So now there's two guys. How do we come across this? Okay. So I don't think you can take those guys out by charging them. Yeah, and charging doesn't work. You're just gonna have to flame them twice. Kind of feel bad for just fucking burning a dog alive. You sure this is a kid's game? I also really like the music. That killed me? God damn it. Whatever. Yeah, I... I want the mic to pick that up because something just fucking like banged upstairs. I gotta be far more careful with these guys. Obviously, I'm not very careful with it. What was I saying? I. Ah, fuck! You can never flame them fast enough, so you just gotta, like, somehow dodge it. Let's try this again. Ooh, shit. But the music, it's very, like, atmospheric and very, like, late 90s. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's, like, all electronic. Kind of reminds me of the music in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the English version. Where it has, like, some synth and stuff. I'm, I'm going to call that, like, orc, orchestral... Uh, electric or whatever. I'm sure there's an actual name for it, but that's just what I'm going to call it. Actually, was there anything over there? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm... Uh... What was I, what was I saying? I'm completely fucking, like, zoned out there. Oh, music. I, that's like the fourth time I've done it. I'm fucking retarded, I swear. And Nevin. Oh, the music. I think my music, when I make it, I think it, I'm like subconsciously inspired by it. Because now that I'm listening to it, it kind of has that same sort of like trance, atmospheric, like 
sort of sense. Made with um, the electronic sounds. Though mine is just mostly like piano and uh, stuff like that. But you can tell it's not like like an actual piano doing it. It's sounds kind of like it came from a keyboard. Okay, so this big scarecrow guy seems like just a regular enemy, right? Nope, this is Toasty. I don't know why his name is Toasty. Probably because that's how you defeat him. Oh shit, I'm actually gonna fucking die. Um, I'm gonna go back and see if there's any, uh... No, there isn't. There isn't any of the little critters or whatever. For you to be able to kill. Just gotta be careful here. So this guy's name is Toasty. Not because he has anything to do with fire. He's just able to be killed with fire I don't get it but oh no it's revealed that it's actually a sheep ah! fuck god I couldn't get out of the way fast enough let's just kill this guy quickly Ah, shit. I keep pressing X instead of square to get out of there. The yeah, bosses take only three hits. Uh, it's in the sort of way where every time you hit him, he goes to a new location and you just do the same thing, but harder. Nowhere left to run, Mr. Sheep. It's only you, me, and the stilts you, you so walk on. I'm not good with low one-liners, okay? I'm Spyro the fuck. Did you just fucking bitch slap me with your goddamn stilt? There's my Spyro impression. Bring it on, motherfucker! Yeah! God damn. Ah, uh, there we go. There is the end of the stage. And, uh, now let's return home. Actually. Okay, yeah, I got the one dragon here. We are done the artisan's world. We can now go back to the balloonist and say hello. There you go, sparks, something to eat. I always like trying to see if uh, if I can like outrun him or whatever, but he always fucking catches up. That's what I used to do as a kid. It's actually a funny story. I'm not really that funny, but there's a story of me when I was a kid. And uh, I had this on the actual PS1. Well done, Spyro. And uh... I uh, got so goddamn close to getting 100%, which once you get 100%, you get something special at the end, which I'll show you guys on my other profile, just to uh, save us all the stress. I just want to play through this game and be all nice and happy. But um, I was I, no matter how hard I tried, I could not find one last gem. I was stuck at 99 for the longest time. And I didn't know what I, I I couldn't figure out like where it was, so I like went through each and every fucking level, and I just couldn't find it until the point where I just gave up. And then soon after that, uh, the PS One broke from my sister, who would decide to take the fucking the disc thing, you know, the um, piece of plastic that you uh, click the disc onto. Well, she fucking takes that out and smashes it and like crunches it in your fingers for some dumb reason. Whatever. So I was never able to get 100% until I downloaded it on this system. Yeah, 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 I'll collect some treasure. I just don't feel like doing it all. 
So we are in a new hob world. This is not a new, this is not a level. We're in world two called Peacekeepers. And uh, it's very uh, like war inspired. It's like cannons, guys dressed in like 1800s war clothes or something. I'm sure there's a better name for it. This is not water. This is anything but water in which we definitely don't want to be in. One cool thing about this is that these cannons and you can actually move them by, you know, like, spinning them around and stuff with your horns. And you're just like, oh, but how would you light it? Well, you're a fucking dragon, so... Of course, you, there's uh, always alternatives. So, these guys... Wow, that is actually really fucking impressive. How? What? <laughs> They're shooting a cannonball through each other's cannons at just the right angle just so they could shoot it back and forth wow that that's really impressive actually but all good things must come to an end let's take these guys out fuck you I think I overshot it a little bit now that guy's lonely <laughs> You can join him in hell. Okay. Well. Now that we're in Peacekeepers. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we will enter the level Dry Canyon. Sure that's going to be a lot of fun. I don't remember like. What each level is until I actually enter it. I'm better with visuals than I am with names. Sorry. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <coughs> Holy fuck.